in 2024, I am not voting for Donald Trump because he is not temperamentally fit for office. He is someone who does not respect the law and in fact has shown that he will take every opportunity he can to bend, manipulate, or even break the law as long as it serves his interests. He is not putting America first. He's putting Donald Trump first and to hell with democracy. In 2024, I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump because character matters. The man has been convicted of sexual assault. Uh, he is also engaged in, you know, he, he, he pals around with white supremacists. I will not be supporting Donald Trump uh, in 2024 because I believe his interests are not good for America. Donald Trump is running for president because he cares about Donald Trump. I don't, I don't believe Donald Trump has changed. I think he's always, he is the man he always was. It's always Trump first. And uh, he's not a conservative. He doesn't even understand conservative principles, doesn't understand our government, how it operates, doesn't understand our Constitution, uh, and doesn't care to understand it. It's clear to me that he's anti-Ukraine. I think in a second Trump presidency would bring a further turmoil within NATO, which I think that's his goal. I think that um, it would be filled with more empty promises. Trump promised a wall to protect our border, didn't deliver. Promised that Mexico would pay for it, didn't deliver. Trump promised us health care better than Obama's, didn't deliver. Uh, a lot of empty promises that Trump made didn't deliver on. Certainly not a physical conservative. He incurred more debt than any president prior to him. So uh, I think that uh, the things that worry me is the uh, false promises that he makes. I, I just cannot vote for the man. And it can go from just being moral, from dishonest, from a criminal, and an insurrectionist. So he'll never get my vote, ever, ever, ever. I will vote Democrat. I can't believe I'm saying it, um, but I will. I, I will not ever support or vote for Donald Trump, ever. I will vote for Joe Biden. I cannot support Trump again for many reasons. One is the January 6th attempt to overthrow election. It's also his utter contempt for anyone who disagrees with him. Trump's vocabulary is rude. It is contemptible. It is vile. There is no good speech that comes from him. And to denigrate individuals is so, so soul hurting. I believe that every person is made in the image of God. And when we say contemptible things to a person, we are damaging what God has made. And he continually damages people by the things he says, and he makes them scared. You know, is violence going to happen? And sometimes it does. I refuse to vote for Trump again in his second bid for president, mostly because I feel that Trump is, he is not a leader. He's a narcissist, he's egotistical. He believes he's above the law. He believes presidential immunity should be enforced even after his presidency, when he's no longer president. Uh, he is time and time again, proven that he is not right for the country. I think Trump really wants to be a dictator, and he said that from the get-go, in that uh, he wants to abolish our Constitution as it is and rewrite it. He want, he feels that he should be above the legislative and the judicial system, not how our Constitution is written. It is for the people, by the people. He is, he is empowered by the people. He is not the people, and he is not the only person. I can't vote for Donald Trump. I think he's too much of a risk for our country, our democracy, our way of life. And uh, because of what I feel, as I observed and understood what happened, you know, right there at the, the Capitol, 
the attempt to overthrow the election, the the uh, type of a person that he has demonstrated himself to be with the, uh, the, the actions that are pending against him and his his positioning, uh, the way I believe he's hijacked the Republican Party and is taking them in a direction that is, I just uh, at the moment uh, can no longer support. The whole uh, MAGA movement is just uh, really concerning to me. With respect to uh, Donald Trump's uh, seeming intents for retribution, I compare what we have now in uh, in the, the, that candidate, President uh, Trump, with some of the great leaders that we honor and respect from history, Washington, Lincoln, you know, Donald Trump is is not of the same. He is not a great leader. I could never vote for him again. Uh, the reason, the primary reason for that is I don't think that the man has the moral character required to function in the Oval Office in a way that we as the American people can trust him. I just cannot see him as a, uh, a viable leader for this country. Donald Trump's recent comments about NATO uh, really kind of hit home with me. I served on the NATO staff in Norway for four years. I was in the military at the time and I was a member of that staff and I was uh, serving alongside other officers from other countries in NATO. The idea that this country, the United States, would somehow decide that unless someone wrote us a check for expenses, that we would allow Russia to do, as Donald Trump put it, whatever the hell they wanted to, to that country is just an anathema to me. How do we tell our allies we'll be there for them if we base it solely on the purpose or on the function of their paying their what we consider to be their fair share? We lose our standing in the world as not just a world leader, but as a nation that can be depended on if we take that approach. And Donald Trump saying that, that he would do that not only undermines us in terms of credibility, but also adds a certain element of, shall we say, motivation on the part of someone like Putin to do whatever they please uh, and that Trump will not stand in their way. I cannot vote for Donald Trump in 2024. He's a narcissist. He's a pig. He thinks he's right and everybody else is wrong. And he's uh, just a, a devil of a person. He's not a likable person. And he, he is not presidential in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And America needs a president who um, can stand on the world stage that we can be proud of. And there's nothing that I can be proud of with Donald Trump. Donald Trump's treatment of women, going back as far as I know, is appalling. He speaks about women in very degrading fashions. Um, Trump has, on numerous occasions, committed adultery. And that's just not someone I want in the White House. Donald Trump's just, I, I think that he is uh, horrible to women. And I've got a wife and three daughters, and I refuse to uh, support him in any way. Donald Trump's actions are anything but presidential. He is degrading to everyone other than himself because, of course, he's right and the world is wrong. And um, he, he's just appalling as a person. He's not someone that I like, that I can trust in, in a presidential way whatsoever. He tried to reverse the government and steal an election. Are, are you kidding me? That's not something... A president does. Donald Trump is a pig um, with a capital P, and I don't know how else to describe him. He's not a trusted person. America is based on certain principles, and Donald Trump does not have any of those principles or values as a person. So uh, he's unsupportable, and how anyone can support him is uh, beyond me. I refuse to vote for this man. Uh, ever again, based on how he handled the pandemic and how and uh, how he handled losing the election leading up to January sixth, 
His behavior was unacceptable, reprehensible, and vile. As far as I'm concerned, he's a criminal, and he's been indicted, I think, 88 indictments against him. I will not be voting for him in 2024. I'm very uh, upset with Trump, with his scorched earth policy that he seems to be going to implement in his, his term if he is elected. I'm very, very scared that he will spend most of the time in the Justice Department going after his enemies or his perceived enemies. Uh, I just don't trust him. Our com country needs to be led at this point and not just have his own personal vendettas. Donald Trump seems to have a love affair with Putin, and I don't quite understand it. Maybe in 2016, it was not very dangerous or not perceived as, as dangerous as it is now. But with our NATO allies being very upset with the aggressive nature of Putin, with our Ukrainians, um, I just feel that the love affair has to stop and our country would be in danger. Donald Trump talks about abandoning Ukraine. Uh, that is not where we need to be. We need to be getting Ukraine so that they are um, a, a, their own independent country and not having to have to deal with Putin's aggressive nature and eventually have a pathway to joining NATO. Trump has been very disparaging with our veterans and being a daughter of a person of uh, my father served honorably in the Korean War. And anyone that disparages our veterans, uh, disparages John McCain that was in a prisoner of war camp, calling them losers, um, that is not patriotic. That's, that's certainly not the way that this country has perceived their veterans in the past. When I see Trump out there, you know, doing photo ops <laughs> with the Bible and things just to hold it up, or just like throw out um, Christian buzzwords that he knows that we like. I just, a, a, as I, I've, as I've been questioned by non-Christian friends about my witness at the time that I was supporting Trump, it really made me take a step back and look and just be like, "Wow, I, I, I am uh, at odds in my faith, and it's not carrying out my politics like I thought it was." And so, you know, while I still hold some conservative values, I don't believe Trump is really out here for us as Christians or even Americans. I really think he's out for himself in the end. And, you know, I, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> my, my decision to vote for Biden at this point is not because I think he's done such a great job or that I think he's the best president that we've ever had. For me, it's a clear choice. Democracy is on the ballot at this point. And so that's why I've made the choice to vote for Joe Biden this year. And the reason I will not vote for Donald Trump again is there was not nearly enough progress made. Everything was always a battle. He is a divider. He's not a uniter. Trump and his clan are more about pissing off the, the, the liberals instead of making progress, crossing the aisle and working together to make America better, to make America great again. Donald Trump definitely wasted the opportunity to unite the country. Um, every time that anybody went after him, he made it a larger and larger problem. Some of the things that Trump has said in the recent months, such as on his first day in office, he'll be a dictator. That's things that should scare everybody. I, I don't care who you are. That, that should scare the pants off of you. Um, he doesn't address any issues. It's always election fraud, this election fraud, that stolen, this stolen, that Donald Trump is definitely running for himself. Um, he the, the used the position to get out of his uh, civil and criminal trials and be able to use the, the signing of a pen to clear his name on things. I will not vote for Donald Trump again. I will not. And I cannot in good conscience vote for Donald Trump. Why? Because again, as a military member, he is not pro-military. And we're talking the United States military. He may be pro-Russian military. He may be pro-North uh, Korean military. He's definitely uh, not the friend, a friend of the U.S. military. Trump just, I think he let our whole country down with his actions, with his words. Um, as a military member, I don't believe that um, former President Trump had our best interest in, in mind at all. He spoke very poorly of the military. The, 
the ones that are supposed to defend the United States. The fact that President, former President Trump um, admires dictators uh, like from North Korea, as well as uh, Russia, that is very, very um, alarming and disturbing for me. I don't understand why anyone in our democratic country would support those ideas. The fact that Trump says he wants to do away with the Constitution, to me, is mind-blowing. I think Trump has had a significantly negative impact on the party. I have voted Republican. I've been a lifelong Republican. And I feel like uh, candidates who are viable for the next generation are not stepping up to become part of the part of the future of the Republican Party. And I blame Donald Trump for that. He's um, supported the wrong people, um, people who are really sycophants that uh, worship him. And that is bad for the country and bad for the party. On top of that, I, I think that he has shown to be um, less and less in the mainstream of the country. I feel like he's divisive. Um, personally, he is unethical. I hold him responsible for the loss of the Senate. My home state of Georgia lost both senatorial races, which were winnable, uh, but Donald Trump chose not to support them. Uh, on top of that, I am um, just appalled at his um, his ethics, and I feel as if uh, his trouble with the four lawsuits, the four criminal cases, and the other lawsuits um, make him an untenable candidate. And I would not support him again. I think the thing that scares me the most is the way the world is going right now and the fact that he wants to just align himself with Putin, get us out of NATO, let Putin take over countries that are slow in paying their dues in NATO. He said that Putin has the right to go in and invade. That scares the crap out of me because, you know, we need to support those countries and we need to help them to stay in NATO because otherwise Putin will just take over these countries and, and also saying that he wants to get out of NATO is absolutely ridiculous. In 2024, I will not vote for him. I thought Donald Trump was uh, terrible around the end of the election. Uh, it's the first time that I've ever known where there was a question of, you know, the current president not leaving office. If he was in Black Lives Matter, he would be in prison. I think Donald Trump uh, going after people he viewed uh, as uh, being against him is very dangerous. You know, it's part of the reason why our country doesn't have dialogue right now. I think Donald Trump's character is very much in question. Uh, you know, view, viewing his business dealings, um, again, if you or I inflated the value of our house by 10 times and got a home equity loan against it, we'd be put in jail for fraud. It's the first time I know of, you know, in modern history <laughs> where, you know, someone basically tried to take over the government and you're seeing it in everything that came out during the January 6th hearings. You, know, you can't just put blinders on and, and pay attention to what you want to hear. I will never vote for Donald Trump in this election coming up or any election because I feel he is a danger to the democracy of our country. I'm not going to vote for him in 2024. When I think about Trump now, I just think that he's just such a con man. You know, if, he, if, if Trump really cared about us as Americans, if he really cared about us, and in all of these court cases that he says that he is not guilty, then why is he delaying them? For the sake of the nation, for the sake of the American people, let's get this thing um, moving forward. You know, do your court time, show where you're not guilty, so we could just get on with it. But I think it's very telling that if these court cases, if he keeps delaying and delaying and delaying, he's got something to hide. He's got something to hide.